Hey guys, Philosopher here, and today I'm going to talk to you about what you need to do to make sure you get the biggest Kestrel possible. Kestrel is a character that transforms the meta. She's easily a top three overall character in the game. She's better than any of the legendary characters. She's right on par with characters like Silver Surfer and Doctor Doom. And guess what? You can get her for free. You will be getting her for free in the event starting May 8th. And so no matter where you're at in the game, if you're a beginning player, if you're a mid-game player, if you are a free-to-play player, if you are a guppy, it is time to go all in to get as much Kestrel as possible. And even if you don't spend any money on this, you can get a Kestrel that looks exactly like this with four stars. That's what I want to show you in this video today. I'm going to talk to you about how to beat this event, what characters to level up. We're going to talk about how to use your cores to get event energy and how high of a Kestrel you can expect. But I will just tell you right now, I have a four star Kestrel and you know, I obviously I maxed the, the, you know, this is all maxed out. G gear tier 15, you know, ISO 5, T4s and everything for Red Star. She is amazing. I am running her in arena. I'm running her in raids. One of my alliance mates one shot the skill boss node in the Doom raid, which I don't know if that's ever been done before, using Kestrel. I'm going to show that in a video tomorrow. This character is amazing. And if you are a newer player, you could just put all the gear you want into this character. It will carry you to the end game. You can use it to clear all sorts of new content. We'll talk more about that in a video to come as well. But what we're going to talk about today is how to get this character. So first of all, just so you understand, this character is coming for free in an event. That starts on May 8th. That is not long from now. And here is the event. What will happen is you will have various nodes to be. I'm sure you may have done these if you've been playing the game for a while. We had one, for for example, for Multiple Man just recently. And you, you beat these nodes either on hard, medium, or easy. If you beat the hard ones, they unlock the medium and the easy. Uh, there is some level cap to get into the hard. I think it may be somewhere in the 50s, level 50s or so to get in hard. Even if you can only beat medium, you will still get a decent amount of shards. And then what you will do, you can see here the, the, the suggested requirements. If you are able to get your squad a good squad to like gear tier 12, 13, you usually don't have problems getting through the hard. Uh, but newer players, particularly who are trying to get Kestrel as high as possible, are going to need to max out gear to try to get through this hard campaign. And what I will just say is, this is the a rare opportunity where I will say this character is worth spending gear on, on characters to unlock. In other words, this is, I think, going to be a, a little bit more challenging than some ca event campaigns, and I would gear up characters just to get a higher Kestrel. And here is the here are the characters you can use to to on this event campaign to, to get those Kestrel shards, and it's it's the Voyager uh, filter here, so you can go to your roster and select Voyager. And what I just want to talk about is what the best team is going to be. If you're an end game player like me, you're going to auto this anyways. It'll be easy. But I think probably the best overall team will be something like Kestrel, Silver Surfer, Ghost, Polaris, and Multiple Man. I don't know. Probably. But, you know, obviously that only is useful for people who've spent money to unlock Kestrel and have geared her up. Assuming you don't have Kestrel, everybody should be able to have that Silver Surfer from the Strike Pass last month. And what I will tell you is if you are a new player and you got your 45 shards of Silver Surfer, you have him at two stars. He's great at two stars. Gear him up at two stars. I've used him as two stars. He's fine. Put the gear into him. He will carry you through this event campaign. Now, obviously, Multiple Man and Polaris, I said, are good. Even if you don't have Polaris, because I know if you're free to play, you won't have her cause, yet because of the strike pass not being over yet. Multiple man on his own, I think, may have some value with his dupes. You're going to have to test that out, but I just think he's a useful distraction. One three-piece that you should be able to run, even if you're free to play, is White Tiger, Moon Knight, and Daredevil. I would try them out because they're all Shadowland. 
Uh, and you, you know, White Tiger was also an event character, and Moon Knight was a, I think it was like these uh, uh, Blitz milestones. So these were very free to play friendly ways of getting characters. Most free to play players that I know have them at four or five stars. And um, Daredevil uh, is obviously very easy to obtain as well. Then there are some good solo characters you can throw in to round off your team. Ghost is fantastic solo. Captain Marvel's fine solo. If you use Kestrel, you can use Nick Fury with, with Kestrel. Otherwise, Falcon is, I think, another good solo character. Those are some of the characters that I'd look at. I feel like free-to-play players should be able to put something together. I think it'll be harder if you're trying to use characters like Fantastic Four or Power Armor or certainly Guardians. You want to use some of these characters that I talked about earlier. Now... You may ask yourself, well, what, what's the challenge or how big of a Kestrel can I get? Well, here's the thing. These events all have their own event energy that you're going to spend. You'll collect it just like your ordinary energy separately. You can refresh the ener energy for the events. That's what I want you to know. So if you save up your cores, even if you are free to play, you can do those 50 core refreshes every day. If you do the 50 core refreshes every day, just you will get a four-star Kestrel just in terms of how the numbers will work out because you're going to get these orbs right here, okay, which are not, they're not awesome orbs, but you will get enough. So there are these uh, Voyager orbs here where you get Kestrel on the side and then you have a shot at getting more Kestrel shards here, but a lot of times you just get these other characters. But even so, you get a, a decent shot at some Kestrel shards. So you'll get, you know, even if it's two, you'll get some Kestrel shards. You'll get enough out of these orbs to get you to four stars. That's good. I'm telling you, I have a Kestrel four star. She's good. But let's say you want to get Kestrel to five stars. Then what you need to do is do, if you do two of the 100 core refreshes every day, you're more likely than not to get a five star. It's not a guarantee. Whereas you pretty much can guarantee, it's almost guaranteed that you'll get a four if you do the 50 core refreshes, almost always. Whereas it's a little dicier if you do the two 100s, but you have a good shot, a better than average shot, likely going to get a five-star Kestrel. And that's awesome. I mean, if you are a new player in this game, the chance to get a top three character in the game all at four stars or five stars, essentially for free, that's amazing. Using the cores that you're getting through the game, that's an amazing thing. It's a character you can invest in from the beginning. And she's going to carry you through some content because, look, for example, you know, this is a, uh, a, a, you know, a cosmic character you can use in the cosmic campaign. She's obviously going to be, you know, helpful uh, for certain types of challenges. Uh, as a blaster and so forth, like she, she can help you in the heroes campaign. She can help you in DD two. Uh, you know, I imagine that she's going to be good in DD three or DD four. I haven't tested her yet, but I'm going to do that soon as well. So I just think this is the character, the type of character worth going all in on, worth investing in. And I want everyone to know about this. If you are a free to play player, this is a gift from Scopely to you. Take advantage of it. There are so many dang power crept characters that they introduce that they make you pay for. This is a character you can get for free. Take advantage of it. All right, guys. If you like this video, smash that like button. Subscribe to this channel. And please check out my uh, Discord. It's linked below. We have all sorts of discussions about how to advance in the game. And then my Twitch stream is also linked below.